day to you from wherever you're watching me. My name is Queen Kama. You're welcome to another exciting and, of course, beautiful episode of Beyond the Music showing here on No Limit TV. Now, in case you're tuning in for the very first time, this is a show where I get to bring some of the top stars, some of your favorite celebrities. I bring them here on the show and we talk about all things music related. And sometimes we go beyond, you know, talking about music to talk about some untold stories, you know, talk about culture and history, especially here in the Portacourt entertainment industry. So it's going to be a wonderful episode. I have a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goddess in the house with me today. But let me not just, you know, let the cat out of the bag. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, I'll be introducing my guest to you. So we recently checked out Club Euphoria, a good and chill spot to hang out, eat, and vibe. They have a sports bar, executive VIP lounge, a nightclub, lodging accommodation, shawarma and grill spots. This one is all in one. And they are located at 33B Rumola to Stadium Link Road, Potak. Welcome back, guys. This is still Beyond the Music, showing here on No Limit TV. Once again, my name is Funkama, your host as usual. Now, before I introduce my guest, we have a very cool, cool announcement to make. So, you have a chance to win 10,000 Naira and free lunch, all on us, of course. All you need to do is be a top fan. Like, every month, you have fan of the month, top fan of the month. So, if every month we see your engagement on our post, um, and you know you're engaging us very very well you're going to stand a chance to win 10,000 naira and free lunch with me all right so if you want to see the criteria for which you will be able to get this giveaway stay tuned to the end of this video all right i'll give you more details there now back to the business of the day first of all a big shout out to our partner club euphoria you know see these beautiful settings this is where we are actually at you know so in case you're looking for a cool place to chill and vibe with your friends and loved ones definitely check out Club Euphoria. Okay, so today I have with me here the Oshikiri one of Africa herself, Jikume. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much for being on the show, Jikume. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And of course, you're looking beautiful, like yeah. very beautiful, like a literal <laughs> goddess. You look so good yourself. Thank you so much. Really, all the time. Thank you. So, what's the secret now? Is this your ever? You know, now nah, with um, art, which is the <laughs> good music, yeah. being at peace with all men, yeah. minding my business, mm. and seeing how we can all make the world a better place. Wow. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. That's nice. <laughs> um, okay, first of all, I mean, we see Jukume. Either we see you in the studio yeah. or on stage yeah. or photo shoots, you know, yeah. music video, you yeah. know, we are always seeing you, you mm -hmm. know, but um, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself, but I want you to go beyond the document that we see on okay. our screens, you know, TV, sh on the show, mm -hmm. on stage. I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, outside what we already know about you. Yeah, um, a little bit about myself. I'm a very, very, very simple person okay. outside all of the entertainment thing. Yeah. I almost like being by myself. Okay. When I'm out, I like playing, I play a lot. Like, I play a lot. But when I'm home, mm -hmm. I just want to chill, mm -hmm. have good food, sleep, read, write songs, do some research mm -hmm. here and there. And then I love being with my family. Yeah. I love being with very close friends and, of course, those who work with me. Okay. I like swimming. Mm -hmm. I just like having a good time. And then uh, doing other things outside of uh, music that I love doing, okay. you know. So I'm just a very simple person, okay. easy going. Okay. That is just okay. nothing big out Okay. There. So where are you from? Um, yeah. Do you have siblings? Yeah. No. I'm from Iswa Joint Karama. Okay. Iswa Joint Karama is in Engene Kingdom okay. here in River State. Okay. Um, we're in Ahuda West Local Government area. Okay. And uh, Engene is also in Bayo. So we are the boundary between okay. us and Bayo. So yes, that's where I'm from. Okay. And um, well. Almost all my life, I've lived in Port Harcourt. Mm -hmm. So since I was like um, 11, 12, I've been in Port Harcourt. So I'm the Port Harcourt girl. Of course. <laughs> say. Of course. The reverse girl, the Port Harcourt girl, neither the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Okay. So um, you started a foundation. Yes. You know, I mean, we were there, you know, during yeah, the kickoff and thank everything. Thank you so much to you all. Let me give you a shout out. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for you all. I've always, always been there for you. Yeah. Always. Always. I'm, I'm really, really grateful. Yeah. And I remember one 
of when you were giving your speech, yes. you know, you talked about the fact that you're an orphan. Yeah. And, you know, it's quite um, surprising, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to tell us, like, how, how you know, being a young girl mm -hmm. and losing both parents at some yeah. point of your life, and yeah. then you grew up to be the woman that you are today. Yeah. How were you able, mm -hmm. you know, to get maybe a little bit, you know, get yourself out of maybe whatever you were going through that yeah. time? Yeah, first off, um, you, you can never, ever be able to get yourself out of losing loved ones. Yeah. You just... You know, get choice. Mm. You can't bring anybody back, so you just live with it. Mm. But then you tell yourself that you have to do better, uh, become the best of you, that your parents are out there watching you. Mm. And they, they don't have to be here to caution you. You know the mm. cautions they've given yeah. you. So you just try your best to be the best of you. You fill your mind with good things. And then for me, it, it taught me also to look out for those who actually don't have this first love. You like it or not, this is first love. Yeah. They are the ones who could actually eat meat and bite and give yeah. you. Other people will put for you in the plate. Mm. So that is that is first love. So if it's not there, you just have to live with it. You have no choice. But then I it, it brought about that that deep uh, empathy mm. towards others, you know, mm. who who happen to be going through the same thing mm. or Maybe not naturally orphans, but are not with this proper first love. Mm. Of course, God sent good people. In my own case, God sent good people. Yeah. I had a good home to live at. Uh, my older sister and her husband, they were so amazing. I grew up with them. You know, my mother died when I was 15, right in Wayek. I mean, uh, we buried her on the Saturday of my Wayek. I wrote the uh, biology uh, practical was Friday, mm. and they buried her on Saturday. So you can imagine coming from class and the dog bonded me, tied me up, mm. put me in the bus to the mortuary, brought me back. It's just after I was just fainting all through. Mm -hmm. And my father died when I was um 20, 21. Okay. So it's, it's, it's something you can you can't overcome. But I believe in making the best out of every situation and um seeing that whatever happens around you is because God wants you to experience something so that you could be a rock, mm. a hope, and maybe a light mm. to people in this, or people going through the same thing. That's just the way I think. Okay. So okay. I thank God for everything. I'm glad I'm here. Okay. So um, how did you get into the music industry? Like, at what point of your, your life did you oh. decide to go into music? Ah, I, I, yeah, I don't even think there was a point. I just knew since I was a baby. Mm. It was going to be. Um, when I was like... Um, when I was very little, I remember I used to tell my mother that I, I want to go to India. Okay. My dream was to go to India. Not because of anything big, but mm -hmm. just because they do acting and they and do this, music. Yeah. And I always said, I want to act, but I want to sing yeah. and act. And mm -hmm. the whole world is Bollywood that does yeah. singing and acting. So yeah. those who knew me from when I was a child, they would tell you, oh, the dream has been there. Mm -hmm. And then when I grew to a certain stage as a teenager, I fell in love with the stage art when I started watching Brenda Fraser. Wow. Oh, yeah. that was when my dream spike. I'm like, whoa, so if I'm doing music, I would actually shake a president and dance with the, mm -hmm. you know, the song. Yeah. When she dances in my then I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. And her energy contagious. Her voice, her everything. I love how she blended Africa and the Western yeah. world in her music. That is me. Yeah, so that was, that was my first point of love for the stage art. And then all my life, as, as a teenager also, I fell in love with Destiny's Child, Aaliyah. Mm. These were like my role models, my points. And then when Beyonce finally broke out, From that was when I knew, and I'm doing this. Mm. I'm doing this. I was 15, 16 then. And as I then, I was already writing my songs. Mm. I was composing, I was writing. Wow. And um, a group came to me back then at El Igoloro Mokoro. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the J2 crew. And then I joined the crew. I was 16 also. I just finished writing what I can get. So we we'll go to the studio, we we'll do we'll release an album when I was 17. Wow. So yeah, so it, it was, the journey just, just happened and, yeah. started, and I've just I've just been here. Okay. In the middle of that. So one very evi evident thing about you is like I said earlier, culture. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen in your music mm -hmm. you use your language, you yeah, know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. your you see you with your afro, you know, you're yeah. always rapping, you know, the culture, you exactly. know. I, I want to know I want why did you decide? Because I mean, we live in a time where mm -hmm. everybody wants to be Western, you know, exactly. wants to portray, mm -hmm. you want to leave your African stuff, you know. Yeah. So, what inspired you to, you know, get your culture and like very involved in your brand? Um, I'm going to maybe go back down, down, down to my roots. Um, I'm from Engene, and here in River State, you hear things like, oh, they are the minority 
you know so i told myself no we are not a minority and even if we are when we're politically mm. i'm going to make sure i use my language to promote my people mm. and then it left just promoting again and then it comes to promoting rivers niger delta mm. africa as a whole nigeria mm. and then it's just it's just we being ourselves mm. today afrobeat is rolling I don't just do Afrobeat. Mm. I do Afrobeat. I do Afro soul. Mm. I do jazz. I do all of that. Mm. But I believe we must not leave our roots. Even if I'm doing rap today, you must still see it that this person is from this part of Nigeria, from Nigeria, from Africa. Mm. It must be so. Mm. You cannot. You cannot just sell off your culture. Yeah. It, is, it is us. It is who we are. Africa is beautiful. I mean, why would I just sell it all off? Mm. I used to do strictly soul, not Afro soul. Mm. It was in 2012 or so. I came to beat, made a, a beat and said, why don't we do, you have, you have this strong voice. I think we could do something Afro. I said, you know, I was doing rap. I was mm. doing pop. Wow, you were doing pop. rap. <laughs> oh my God. I was doing pure pop. I was doing soul. I was doing R&B at the time. Strictly Western. You know, that was what was actually wrong. Mm. So he was like, let's do this bit. And we did Niger because, like I told you. And so I also fell in love with him. I'm like, that's true. You know, because I've always envisioned and loved Brenda Fraser. Mm. She married both. Mm. And so I told myself, you know what, your brand will be marrying both, presenting who you are, where you're from, wherever you are in the globe, you will be identified to be from here, mm. while you also bring the goodies back home through the entertainment. That wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be continuing our very interesting discussion. Welcome back to Beyond the Music. I'm still here with the ever beautiful Oshikiri, one of Africa herself, oh, Jikome. Yeah. So before we went on the break, she was talking about, you know, culture and her brand. But we're going to move a little bit forward and talk about some of the challenges. You know, we're going to get into so, some things. But okay. before we get into those things, okay. let's talk about some of the challenges that you've faced so far you okay. know, in the industry. Mm. You know? Um... First, I'm going to sound this. Challenges, I tell people all the time, people in my industry, that whatever you do, there are challenges. Mm -hmm. Different career paths have different challenges. So you cannot say, hey, you, you can never be able to avoid mm -hmm. challenges, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Challenges I have faced, personally, um, it's always been funding. Okay. It's always been funding. As you know, uh, music is very, 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 very costly mm -hmm. kind of business. Mm -hmm. If the, the monies are put in the music, if I had maybe used that to open one business somewhere, mm. I would have been reaping profits mm. left, right, and center. Mm. You know, but because spending in, in music never stops. And until you hit that point where you're making your millions like weekly, mm. uh, you know your, your millions are coming daily, weekly, that is when you're able to relax a little. But mm. even then, you're still spending. In fact, the money, how you go, the more million you spend. Mm. So for me, it has been funding. Okay. Um, People complain of um, um, having good relationship with people. I think that is personal mm. because for me, I'm a very, very jovial person. Okay. I hug everybody. Mm. Even when people get me angry, those who know me, they know when I'm just shouting. Mm. I will even come to you and hug you and I'll tell you, if you like the best, mm. yeah, I don't rest my own relationship. Mm. So those who, who have good hearts will know this person, and it's okay, she's not that kind of person. Mm. So I, for me, it's normal challenges. Okay. The other challenge people will say is uh, platforms. Mm. That is also normal to me. People will do shows, both them, if event host people mm. are also business people. Yeah. They cannot just use millions to host shows and you expect to be there every day without making some impact. Mm. What I believe is when you have these challenges, you ask yourself, what can I do? Mm. What did I do for myself? Mm. I started a platform for myself. I started a shipping festival. Mm. And by the grace of God, I didn't just use it for myself. It is also being a platform yeah. for others up and coming and even those higher than me or mm. at my level. Mm. So I, I don't see the challenges as bad. I mm. see them as things that made me work harder and to become who I am today. Okay. I climbed on it and I became who I am. And I'm going there also with this same mindset. Yeah. I went to Lagos and be like, oh, I said, no, I, I, I used a strategy and I'm going to use this. We're having our first show in Lagos coming. Yes. To be like in Lagos this November 10th. So, and Oshiki Festival is also coming up in Port Harcourt, okay. December 8th. Okay. You know, Oshiki Festival is going to be like the Coachella 
of mm. Nigeria. Okay. We we'll bring you the word as I grow, as I connect the more, I bring my connections and people here, and we see how we all, you know, work together in growing and booming the music business, the entertainment business, the creative industry here in River State. Okay. That is the little I could do, you know, um, being a daughter of the soul. Mm. So I, I will not just go out there and say, oh, me, I don't, I don't, I don't. Mm. No, we'll see what we can all do mm. individually, collectively to make it work. Okay. So you were in Lagos, you yeah. know, I mean, this interview was booked some months, you know, yeah. prior to her yeah. little stay in PH. You yeah. know, but um, there's always been this, um, should I say, uh, a culture or okay. routine, okay. especially here in PH, mm -hmm. like when an artist gets mm -hmm. a certain level of popularity okay. here in Port Harcourt, before mm -hmm. you know, they don't run go Lagos. Yeah, yeah. So I want you to talk about that a little bit. Is that the situation for you? No, no that's not the situation for me. Uh, the situation for, come on, pray for me. <laughs> the situation for me is that um, music is not you being in one place. Okay. A musician doesn't even live in one city. Mm -hmm. You're always flying here, flying mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. What gives us money, what what makes our career boom is mm -hmm. that we are moving and connecting around the world. Okay. You want the whole world to listen to your music and for them to um, really get more in touch with the music, at some point they need to see you physically perform on stage. Yeah. And you know me, I love performing. Yeah. I'm a performer. Of course. So I must make sure I go out there, also perform, showcase myself, mm -hmm. my brand to the people who have been seeing me online or mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. So that is the case of me going to Lagos. Okay. Yes, I got a place I'm in Lagos, so I shot to Lagos and Port Harcourt okay. presently. But you never leave us now. You never yeah, run, leave us. Okay. Yeah, family. <laughs> As you know, we already have a music festival. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So just Lagos, we want to go at the London, mm -hmm. US, as the Lord will take us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Okay. Is it. All right. So you, I've seen you sell out Oshikiri Festival, mm -hmm. you know, year, years in a row, you know, mm -hmm. and it, it's not a small feat, you know, no matter yeah. how much you want to look at it. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of, um, should I say, male artists that yeah. cannot, you know, in, as a female, there are a lot of odds you against know, you, you know. You know. But as a female, you sold out Oshiki Festival. Yeah. A lot of times. But your last festival, oh, yeah. people were like as I past eleven, yeah. people were good, people were coming. coming. And I'm like, where, yeah. where is people coming from? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, it's not easy. And um some people have said that, mm. you know, because of your doings, oh, you know, you yeah. are the number one oh, female artist okay. in Port Harcourt. Okay. What do you did you think you are the number one female artist in Port Harcourt? I think I'm gonna be saying I'm the number one in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not like I'm bigger than Port Harcourt. Of course. Um, and I'm not gonna say I'm just I'm trying to say I'm not yourself. just yeah, yeah, I'm not just a Port Harcourt artist. Mm -hmm. I am saying I'm the number one female artist in Nigeria. If you want to contend with me, then blue stage, no problem. <laughs> Yes, yes, I like that. I like the energy. So before I let you go, you are politically active, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. tell us a little bit about um, that. Um, yes, well, I got into politics. I studied journalism, though. Okay. And I remember at the time of Good Luck Jonathan, when the whole saga started, two two thirteen, mm. when all that was happening. Yeah. I remember. When I talk about it in class, my lecturers will say, no, you're a journalist, you know, you have to go and work in media houses, mm. you cannot be partisan. Mm. But trust me, I have this, this passion mm. in me when it comes to the people and le good leadership. Okay. So I got involved somehow. When I came back, I looked at myself and I'm like, 240 when I came, I'm like, I'm not really sure I can work in the media houses. And they sacked me away. Mm. If I don't say it on show, mm. I'm going to talk about it on social media. Mm. They will be sacking me. Mm. So let me just stay on my day <laughs> now. Oh, what will I do? Yeah. And then my party chairman back then mm. reached out to me. I'm not going to call him back mm. name. And they're like, oh, we'd like you to join us. We can see mm. your works for mm. us. I'm like, actually, I, I'm not working for anybody. I'm mm. just doing it because I feel this is the right thing for Nigeria right yeah. now. But it got to the point that, okay, you just have to go. And then I got an appointment as a press secretary to my then local government chairman, okay. Ahon Ezekiel Agri. And then just from there, I just happened to go in and go in. And then mm. I was on the state social media team for Rosa UK. Mm. And then songs for the government, performing at government mm. functions. And mm. you, know, you create friendships and relationships with these people because mm. you are part of the mm. circle. So that is how I automatically got into politics. Okay. And I also still advise that advice thing. Youths have to get involved. They have to get involved, get your PVCs, mm -hmm. get involved. You cannot just say, you can't always complain and not get involved. And it's also a very, very wrong notion to say, uh, because you're doing entertainment, don't go close to politics, mm -hmm. don't go close to politics. It's wrong, though, it's this kind of mindset that make 
these people in leadership now do anyhow because mm. they feel everybody just left it for them. Mm. It should be a collective thing. If you are not going to run for office, it's okay. But get involved in decision making and mm. uh, getting uh, the, the candidates get involved. They are passing laws in the House of Assembly. Mm. Get involved. Go there. If you want to say no, say no. Nobody mm. will beat you. Mm. Uh -huh. Let us all get involved. Okay. So that is, that is how I got it. Okay, well, that's nice. We've had. A really interesting conversation, and there are lots of things we could talk about, but you know, because of time, you not know, on our side, yeah. we have to give it a wrap here. But before I go, um, Jukume, I want you to talk to your people. You know, talk yeah. to the city. You know, is there anything that you've always wanted people to know? Okay. You know, maybe something that you've experienced that you did not mm -hmm. like. You know, you want to throw light on something. Mm -hmm. You know, the floor is open for you. Okay. Um. So my beautiful, beautiful block for Tarkot. You know, they say we've been over flooding this, but we can never flood it enough. I believe we are getting better. But please, let us understand that not just musical, the creative industry, mm. I call it a big, big, big oil industry. It's bigger than what we call crude oil. This is what places, for instance, the U.S. thrives on this thing. They thrive on this thing. Let's come down to Nigeria. Lagos, they make so much revenue from this thing. So we are now talking as leaders of our people. Please, we have so many creative people, talented people in fashion, uh, 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 those doing the cultural part of it, and music. The movie industry is coming up, is booming. Look at Nolimi TV doing this block thing. Please, let us partner them. Companies in the city, uh, big men and big women, please, oh, partner them. Partner us. For sure, partner us. Let's work together. Look, we have a huge number of people that don't even know your brand. Mm. They may know me, but they don't know you. So when you partner us, we work together. You will sell, I will sell. You will be happy, I will be happy. So please, when entertainers come to you, partner us. And I also know, I'm also going to talk to my fellow entertainers because we also have these issues of uh, some investors complaining or those who tried to come in. They will see me and they will complain bitterly. Oh, they helped this person, they partnered there, and then the person didn't do well. Or we didn't do well, so for that reason, they decided to cut off everything else to be the creative industry in Port Harcourt. I beg you, let us be doing well. Any relationship you get when it because they come to you uh, through entertainment, mm -hmm. you should know that whatever role you play there will not just be on you, it will touch every one of us in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I beg you, in your relationship with people, in your friendship with people, business otherwise, please be responsible, be trustworthy. Please have some integrity so that when people say they will say entertainers, oh, they are business minded. I keep using the term business because this is business. Mm -hmm. This is not just fun. It's not just for fun. Now money will they use to one. Mm -hmm. So I beg you the name of God. If you know you're just talented, you cannot do business, but get some good people to arrange the business for you so that you don't go about interacting and spoiling things for some of us. Mm -hmm. Me too, I see the link. So together I believe both the entertainers and the investors Please come in. We can do so well. Portacord is ready, right? And ready to bubble. Mm. Ready to bubble. You know that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much once again <laughs> for so much, being on the show. I mean, <sighs> very interesting episode, you know. And um, before we go, of course, your fans want to reach out to you now. Yeah. So how do they reach out to you? Please, please, please. Uh, first, I like you to go on to my YouTube channel. Some people have asked me, oh, you know, I love, I love more of your visuals. Mm. How do I see your videos? Please just, once you Google Jik Mese, mm. uh, J-I-K-U-M-E, that is also my YouTube name. You see, please subscribe to my channel. Enjoy my videos. And now, everything I do, my stage performances, everything, everything, everything you know about me, go straight to my YouTube channel. So please subscribe and get alerted all the time with all the good things coming. Go to Facebook, it's at Jikume, J-I-K-U-M-P, that's my page. Go to um, TikTok, it's also Jikume, at Jikume, J-I-K-U-M-P. It's on our Instagram, it's also Jikume Official. So once, anywhere you go to, just uh, write in Jikume and then Jikume pops up. I beg you. <laughs> Twitter everywhere. Mm. Let's connect. Let's have a good time. Let's share ideas. You know, and just... Be in love mm. music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, do not forget that I said what I said earlier. So you have a chance of winning ten thousand naira with free lunch with me. Understand? You want to like it's fine girls? Like you understand? Oh, she girl like this. <laughs> oh, she Ew. girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what you need to do is make sure you engage with our content. You know, 
for four weeks. Four weeks makes one month. So make sure you're engaging with our content. Make sure you're sharing the content. Make sure you're posting the content on your platform. Trust us, we are watching, you know. And make sure you tag us as well, you know. Tag us, tag me, you know, tag the, the crew, tag the family. They're definitely watching you. And whoever, you know, gets the tag as top fan wins 10,000 Naira and free lunch days with me, okay? So... That's exciting now. Wait, there you go, Siam. <laughs> Who wants that for you? For this, oh, this. <laughs> for this economy. Come on. <laughs> all right. So do well to, you know, take the opportunity now that is here. All right. Yeah. So uh, till next time, my name is Queen Krama. Do not forget that you can follow us on our social media handles. On Instagram, it's no limit TV on this Ninja. On Twitter, it's no limit TV on this Ninja. On TikTok, it's no limit TV on this Ninja. On YouTube, it's no limit TV on this Ninja. And on Facebook, our Facebook page is no limit TV. Do well to like, share, comment on our works, you know. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. I beg you. <laughs> like you can mention the money with the easy run up. <laughs> so okay, so next time, thank uh, a big thank you to the guys behind the camera. You know, we're always working tirelessly to make sure everything is going smoothly. So a big shout out to you guys. So next time I'll be back on your screen with another wonderful, beautiful, and of course exciting guest. All right. So till next time, it's goodbye for me and Jukri. I think we should cheers to this goodbye. Oh, cheers, baby. Goodbye.